Gang is a great way to come out, fellowship, hang out with new people. So Jerry Lynn Guest, the owner of Guest Ranch, called me and asked me if we would outfit a hunt uh, if she was to donate it to the Brazos Foundation for auction. And uh, I said, of course, you know, and we found out later she called me and said that Blue Collar Adventures uh, bid on the hunt and won the bid. And we were excited about it. We knew that y'all were in the same county as us, same vicinity, that y'all had the same passion and drive that we do. And uh, we, were, we were excited to have y'all out. So Jay and I went to this local benefit dinner and they just happened to have an odd ad hunt up for auction. Well, I'm a sucker for an auction and when it benefits your own community, I'm all in. And when Crystal was bidding and yanking on my shirt sleeve when an odd ad hunt came up, I figured we're going odd ad hunt. I've always wanted to hunt an odd ad with my bow, so I just had to buy it. Little did we know, the ranch is 20 minutes away from our house. This beautiful lodge, beautiful property, and wonderful people. Colt told me that, he said, if I get a chance, that I better take a shot because um, we don't know if we're gonna see these odd out again. So I kinda had a little bit of pressure on me. I was a little bit nervous, but at the same time, I was so excited. He told me that they had a lot of odd ad, but I had no idea that there was gonna be this many. And pretty soon there were so many animals in front of the blind that I was so overwhelmed. I was just trying to focus in. I didn't care how big he was. I just wanted to make a clean ethical shot. I was just so focused on getting my arrow in the right spot that right when I was releasing, he moved forward and I was a little worried about my shot. It was a little farther back than I wanted it to be, but they all ran off and my heart kind of sunk. We're gonna find That's what it's about. Hey, don't, you don't be upset about that. We saw some blood, tracked him a little ways in, and just decided to back out because it's the best thing to do when you're bow hunting. We all know what happens when you rush in too early. Typical all that hunting. Right, we're gonna go back, give it a break, get the dog, see if we can't pick up blood again, it's not gonna be, it won't be too far from where we tracked our last blood before we, before we found it, I don't think. Reviewed camera, it was a great shot. I mean, as many odd data as that was in there, she made a phenomenal shot. We came back, gave a little time, shot the bull for a little bit at the cabin, washed up, went back out there.
You see a bunch of blood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are some hardy There's suckers. Blood here. Oh, yeah. Got him when I could see part of him stick it out of the brush, I was so excited. Kind of have a thing for sheep. So, what better way to donate your money to help a good cause than come out to this beautiful place to hunt, awesome people, and just to sit in the blind, hunt with my bow, and see some awesome animals, and get to hunt something like this. It's just, I feel so blessed, and what an awesome opportunity. Thanks, Cole. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank all you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. Now we can fish for two days. <laughs> I have to check. Oh, no. We'll get out of here. Find a big old dive bow. <laughs> She's up. <laughs> That's what's all about. We got got finished. We love those sheep. Blue Collar Adventures is proud to partner with Matthews, Spot Hog, the world's toughest archery products, Vortex Optics, the force in optics, Tooth of the Arrow Broadheads, Cinnamon Creek Ranch, Big Texas Deer. The Guest Ranch, uh, we started outfitting this ranch in July of this year, 21. Uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous ranch from our from our little cabin down here on the lake to our corporate lodge up on the mountain. Uh, we can accommodate anyone that wants to come out from somebody that uh, doesn't just have a whole lot of money but they want to experience. We, we crave that style of hunt. We love to be able to cater to people like that and treat them like royalty. Uh, you know, and, we, and then all the way up to the big corporate groups. This ranch is filled. We've got, I believe, 17 different species of animals on this ranch, not including the, the waterfowl and the turkey that come in. Uh, it's just a great ranch. We're out here in Palo Pinto County, and places like this is why I live in Palo Pinto County. Got to come on this hunt. We went to a little community fundraiser for Brazos Foundation, saw this hunt, couldn't resist, because we don't hunt enough. So. Any chance you get to buy a hunt and give to a good cause, that's a win-win. And then to get out here and be with these G93 guys, they know what they, they're doing. The experience out here is like no other. You've got species that are really hard to find. We had a great time the blind with Crystal last night. We've got our bows. We've got different opportunities. And this morning's just beautiful. So they put a little faith in me. We're going to go spot and stock the Dabowski Psyche which is a very, very neat species. Uh, you don't get to hunt these everywhere. And to have a chance to come hunt one with my bow, we'll see how it goes, spotting stocks, always tough. But uh, I feel like I'm with the right guys, it's up to me to make the shot. We can just go out and hunt one, and I can spot and stalk and just run up there and try and get a shot at one, but I want to capture it for you guys. So I've got a camera person, I've got a couple guides, and they want to kind of help me out. So we're easing through this real thick cedar. We're finding all kinds of cool animals. Just getting to see these animals is worth the trip, and I just can't close the distance.
what would you want to do in your morning like this? A beautiful day here at the Guest Ranch, Palo Pinto County. You just can't ask for something better. It's been amazing. We're just spotting and stalking, seeing cool animals that you don't get to see every day. And what are we going to do? We can't go anywhere. So come to Texas. If you live in Texas, come to Palo Pinto County. This guest ranch is phenomenal. It's got a little bit of everything that uh, touches my heart. There's some horse stuff. There's lots of cool exotic animals, beautiful country elevation change, and a decent crew of guys running it. Blue Collar Adventures is proud to partner with Zionics Digital Night Vision, National Roper Supply, NRS, Wilderness Athlete, Fuel for the Rugged, Sterling Precision, Kuyu, and Long Shot Gear. Kind of had to work pretty hard to get him on one of these Dabowski Saika. It was a little more challenging than expected. Uh, we tried spotting and stocking a little bit, couldn't make it happen. Uh, he got close, I believe it was about 70 yards. When in doubt, go back to the basics. Go sit still where they might want to come in. We go get in the pop-up line and hear the Saika start coming in. Best one of the bunch comes in and looking at him, he, all his points are still there, he's got a few broken tips and when I'm hunting on film or when I'm hunting I always try and take the best ethical shot and he follows a doe and they circle in front of me and I've got him in a layup shot but I'm nervous, that's, that's why I bow hunt because I do get nervous, I do get excited so I just had to concentrate on holding that pin where it needs to be, don't rush a shot, don't punch it. That's it guys, the tooth of the arrow, 
I've been shooting these for years since they came out. Friends with them. That's all I get is these little broadheads everywhere I've been, all over the world. Everything I made a good shot with these. That happens. They're down. I received a text from him uh, that made me think that he may have shot the animal, but wasn't giving me an answer. And I was, resp I was responding, hey, do I need to come? Do I need to come? And he would just text something stupid back to me just to leave it all open-ended. And finally, he, he says, you know, I called him. And he says, well, I don't know if I hit him or not. I closed my eyes when I, when I drew back. And I said, all right, he's, he's talking loud. Uh, he's excited. And so we, we went that way. And sure enough, he killed a great, great psycho. And it was just a fun experience to walk up and see the excitement and the passion that they have for this game. And it, it's just a blessing to have a blue collar out here. Sun's going down here in Palapena County, and I'm just blessed. And I know everybody says that I'm blessed, but I really feel it tonight. I'm healthy. I'm able to get out and hunt. I made some new friends this week at the guest ranch. Met some great guys, G93. And I was able to take my bow out and have a successful harvest. And that's why we come out here. My heart was racing in the blind. I had nerves, I had excitement. I tried to get on these guys all day spotting and stalking and I just couldn't get the shot. And sometimes you just gotta go sit somewhere and hope they come by. And this is a bruiser. This is an old Dabowski. So happy to have the opportunity. And this is 25 minutes from my house and doesn't get much better than that. You guys have heard us talk about it. We went to a charity dinner and they were selling an odd ad hunt and the odd ad are kind of our thing. And we live in the county in Texas where Audad were first introduced. Crystal was able to go out and shoot one with her bow and talking to Colt, Mrs. Guest, they said, why don't you stay and hunt? And my arm doesn't have to be twisted very hard. And to come out and chase a cool species like this, you know, we hadn't got to hunt a lot this year. With everything going on, there's not a lot of places we can go. And I love to hunt with my bow. And it's always a challenge. I don't care how you do it, but to come to a place like this where you have such a great opportunity and you have so many neat species that you don't always see. We saw stuff today that I haven't seen in years and some species I've never seen. So great time, amazing place. I can't thank the people that support us enough. You guys that watch the show are the reason that we keep doing it. I don't know, 15 years we've been doing this and. Some of you guys have seen me when I just started. And to, to be doing this this long, it takes people like you. It takes great companies like Matthews and Spot Hog and Kuyu and all those guys that have been there be, beside us and helped us all the way through. And thank you guys. Thank you for watching the show. We're going to get some good pictures. The sun's going down. It's a beautiful day in Texas. And uh, stay tuned. We might do a little bass fishing. The hunting is one of the few things that people can do together that truly makes a memory that lasts a lifetime. Uh, I, I, I think back on all the hunts that I personally have, my kids hunting, my friends hunting, my, my dad hunting, my brothers, uh, and I believe that if I took the top 10 memories of my life that I have, all 10 of them involve hunting or fishing. It's a little patience, baby. This fishing teaches people patience. You just shut it. Tell me when to pull it. It'll go under. Oh, Just oh, wait. Oh. Just wait. Oh. Oh, God, help us. Check, we got the Audad hunt. But now she's after something she's been after me for the last few years to get, and that's a catfish. From Idaho. And we don't catch catfish in Idaho. I've been down here in Texas for quite a few years, and I've never had the opportunity to catch a catfish. So things are about to change. Thanks to Colt. Heck yeah. Don't grab by the mouth. Don't grab by the mouth. No. Oh. They got, got little spikes. Okay. Grab him behind the gills there. How do you get him? I'd have Austin show you one time. Yeah. You spend my nights out in the bar room. Liquor was the only love I know
But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom. Hunting is special. And spending time with people on their property and, you know, sharing a meal and sitting by a campfire, you're bonded for life. It's been such a blessing to meet new people. Colt, Jerry, all the guys that helped me with my odd ad. I just want to thank everybody for all their hard work and giving me this opportunity to get to hunt on their beautiful place. You're as warm.